This news story was produced by Kojiko North Bay News. To watch the full newscast, tune into channels 12 or 700 live at 5.30 p.m. Monday to Friday. pretty rare that the top cop for the OPP makes a visit to North Bay and for these criminal justice students at Nipissing University it was a special occasion. It was also special for the OPP commissioner as he talks policing in the 21st century. Modern policing requires a whole different skill set. Uh, these young kids uh, come uh, to, uh, to our society with uh, a different mindset when it comes to how you deal with policing issues and I'm going to talk to them about uh, the challenges that uh, we face as, a, as an organization, the challenges we face with modernizing policing, with dealing with uh, the challenges of our society, whether it's cyber crime, whether it's uh, the evolution of crime, and uh, how that impacts uh, our society. Cyber crime is the current boogeyman in the criminal justice system. Hawks knows you have to hire smart people because the criminals are pretty smart as well. Exactly, and it's probably the uh, one of the number one issues when it comes to uh, the future challenges that we face when it comes to dealing with uh, the law enforcement side. So whether it's uh, uh, anything that relating to cyber-enabled crime or cyber crime itself, attacking of the system. Another police-centric issue is the paying of officers who have been suspended after being charged with a serious crime. Like many police officers and taxpayers, Hawks hopes the Police Act is amended. Well, I'm hoping that uh, the uh, current uh, uh, process of, uh, that the government's undertaking on uh, the strategy for Safer Ontario includes a component of changing the Police Services Act, which would allow chiefs and myself the, as the commissioner to have better flexibility when it comes to uh, suspending somebody uh, without pay when they're involved in such a, such a serious incident uh, and allow us to do that. Because I don't think society members of society would necessarily agree that we'd still pay a police officer after they're committed a serious criminal offense. And uh, so there's a line that has to be drawn and we're hoping for some changes in the future. Uh, and they're innocent till proven guilty, so uh, we have to take that into consideration as well too. But I think there's a balance point of which we'd be looking for and, and pushing the government in order to be in a position to say there's changes and we need to uh, affect uh, the changes uh, in, a, in a modern, modern way. If you are interested in watching Coach Go North Bay News, you can become a subscriber by calling 1-800-267-9000.